I'm Riley James. I'm sitting here with CJ Roberts. So you've got a sequel coming out to Captive in the Dark. Yes, I do. Seduced in the Dark comes out September 1st. And you're having a book signing. I am. It'll be August 30th at 630 at the Tinderbox, downtown Rapid City. Now, this is the first place people can get their hands on a hard copy of the book, right? Yep, because it doesn't, uh, the ebook and the regular paperback available through Amazon is not going to come out until September 1st. So the people who come to the, to the book signing will be the first people to read it and the first ones to be able to go online and say, neener, 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 plot spoilers. Please don't spoil the book. I will be so mad. I'll be so mad. And then for people who can't make it to Rapid City... What is the absolute fastest way to get the book? Okay, so the absolute fastest is is that on August 31st at midnight, I'm going to be posting coupons on my Facebook page. So if you look for CJ Roberts on Facebook, you should find my page very easily. I'm going to post a coupon there at midnight, and that'll be the soonest that you can get it. And then for your Kickstarter fans, when do they get theirs? I actually was signing books all day today. All day. My living room just looks like a bomb went off in there. An awesome bomb. (laughs) Uh, So the first review of it will be on samsawesomeness.blogspot.com. And how did you come to be on this blog or know about this blog? Um, Actually, that's an interesting story because I, like any independent author, Google myself quite frequently. (laughs) And I um, I ran across um, Goodreads, which is where all the hardcore reader fans go. Um, so anyway, I was actually out there reading reviews of Captive in the Dark, and um, I read Rhonda's review, and it was really, really good. Like, it almost got a tear out of me. And um, we actually struck up a friendship, and then she put me on her blog, and I got a great response from that. And she's been super supportive just from the very beginning For the sequel, what was your writing process like? Panic. Sheer panic (laughs) the whole time. (laughs) So, yeah, no, it was really crazy. Like, the the, the first book, I had just been writing kind of at my own pace. And because I liked the drama, I set the release date for Seduced in the Dark one year after Captive in the Dark came out. And so in that year, I've written 523 pages and... I'm actually quite surprised at myself, um, but luckily we we live in this uh, meth capital, so I was able to get a lot of writing done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ah, oh, drug users. <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> well, they're listening. Because they are. They're... They're big readers, the meth community. They are. They are. When you're up at 3.30 every morning and you've seen every infomercial. Right? I love infomercials, by the way. Pick up a book. That is my fantasy world. When people say, like, oh, if you could live in an alternate reality, where would you live? I would live in an infomercial. Let's do an infomercial for Seduce. Because I want to set it and forget it. And I want to play volleyball and eat whatever I want and never get fat. Right. Yeah. And your cat's fur... Nowhere in your house. Right, no, and I want to walk around in a Snuggie with oh, yes. no pants on. Yes, yes. And just accept my lifestyle. Yeah. Stand by your weirdness. I do. I want to stand by my weirdness. All right, let's talk about Chicago. Yes, oh my God, Chicago. So excited. Who is going to be there with you? Um, there's 15 of us, and it kind of ranges. It's all, it's all independence. So it ranges from, you know, New York Times bestsellers Uh, to people who are just kind of starting out in their career. Um, So anybody who gets there, you're going to get kind of the whole spectrum of the indie movement. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. There's going to be a lot of, it's the first time that I've uh, been a part of the community in that kind of setting. Do you have any advice for aspiring authors? If you write a book and you're an independent, pay the money to have an editor go through your stuff. That was my biggest rookie mistake, was that I wrote this book, I made the assumption that no one was going to read it, And so I just published it. And 12,000 copies later, there are still people who wonder why I pluralized the word one. Um, I often wonder myself. (laughs) It could have been easily avoided had I just paid paid an editor. You never know where your book's going to go. You never know where it's going to go. So do do the legwork. And lastly, if you were to direct people to find your work... The website is probably the best place to go. So if you go to www.aboutcjroberts.com, it'll have my upcoming appearances on there, uh, my Facebook information, Twitter, all the 
all the book stuff's on there, links, and I've got some trailers out there that people will enjoy. Anyway, uh, thank you, Riley, for having me on. I have had a great time coming and talking to you. I always do, you know. It's always nice to have another me on my show. Right? <laughs> anyway, I got a special surprise for you in the book, so I can't wait for you to check it out. And I will see you at the book signing August 30th at 630 at the Tinderbox. And if you can't make it to Rapid City, we will see you in Chicago. Oh, my God, yes. Come to Chicago. It's going to be so amazing. Thank you. Thank you.